out. Dom Chu has that regional bank's numbers. All right, so John, it's not a bank that we would normally focus on a lot, but given all the recent bank turmoil, it is one where we want to focus a little bit more on the results. I will tell you that the shares are down just fractionally. There's not a lot of trading activity going on besides the 600-some thousand shares that traded right before the announcement came out. Uh, what we can tell you is that First Horizon reported 45 cents per share in terms of adjusted or non-GAAP earnings per share, $859 million worth of revenues. It's going to be tough, and we're not going to make an effort to compare them to analyst estimates because there is such thin analyst coverage for this Tennessee-based regional bank. But the number that a lot of folks will focus on right here, and this is perhaps giving some semblance of optimism to some regional bank investors, deposits at First Horizon sequentially from the end of the fourth quarter of last year until the end of this past quarter were down 3.2% to $61.44 odd billion. Again, a 3.2% decline in deposits between the end of Q4 last year and the end of this first quarter this, this, this year, uh, just a, a, about a month or so ago. So that's in line, by the way, with the kind of deposit uh, movement that we've seen in some of the other regional banks, much larger than First Horizon up until now. But we'll continue to kind of follow through, kind of go through some of these numbers. But again, First Horizon, not a bank that we would normally focus on. But the shares are just down fractionally right now. I will tell you that the deposits seem to have moved lower, albeit just marginally so. Uh, not sure what kind of factors will go into that, but that's maybe the reason why you're seeing some, at least some stability, John, so to speak, in First Horizon shares. And again, First Horizon stock now up about 1%, again, on about 657,000 shares, John, of after-hours volume.